Hi again, YouTubers. Today we are sitting down to do a haul video. I know I haven't been doing many haul videos lately. I have been focusing so much on my channel lately and just changing things up a little bit here and there. I hope you guys have been enjoying those changes with a little bit more style items and how to style things in there. I personally have been changing my channel slightly to focus a little bit more on style confidence and feeling good and beautiful about yourselves. So I'm kind of getting a little bit away from haul videos, but I will still have them in here for you guys to show you products that I'm picking up along the way. But I really haven't been changing my products up as much as I used to. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you went down below and click that subscribe button. And let's get started with this haul. So recently, Sephora had their VIB Rouge. They had two weekends that you were able to order things if you were a VIB Rouge. And now they have the Sephora VIB sale as well. I'm gonna show you the items that I picked up during the Rouge portion of the sale and a few things I honestly picked up at the end of the summer. It's been that long since I've done a haul video. And I've got a bunch, so I'm gonna jump right into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. I talked about this in my video about how to remove gently your eye makeup and this cotton, I'm obsessed with it. And I have another one that is open right now that I'm using, but I got three of them. They're normally $10, which isn't that bad anyway, but when you can get them on sale, if you know you're gonna use it, why not pick up multiples? Next up are two of the items that were actually shown in that same video. And one of them is the Tatcha One Step Cleansing Oil. I use this one quite frequently and I really do like it. I purchased quite a few different cleansing oils though because I'm trying to find my favorite one. The next one I picked up was the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. As you can tell, I like this one quite a lot. I like that so much that I just picked it up in the travel size as well because anytime I'm traveling it's a little bit much to take those big bottles with you so I got a trial set or travel size of that one as well and you could have gotten the Tatcha one but of the two I knew I liked this one better and while I was at it I picked up two other cleansing oils and one is the Kopari coconut cleansing oil I haven't tried this one yet and it comes in a really nice pump same as all the others I'm dying to smell this one I gotta smell it Ooh, that one smells really good. The Caudalie, and it is the Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil, Moisturizing Grape and Sweet Almond. This one has a pump as well. They all have pumps. That's the easy way to... That one doesn't have much of a scent to it, though. The Basha one is kind of a minty scent, and the Tatcha one doesn't have a scent at all. I also picked up a few makeup sprays. Um, I've been big into makeup sprays and I have a get ready with me that I'm gonna have coming up for next week that I show you how I use them. That's a little bit different than your typical way. The two I picked up are the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. I love this and it smells peachy. And then I also picked up the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics and it is their Super Sealer. And as you can tell, I've used this one a good amount too. And I really like it, it's a nice one. Um, they're comparable to me though, so it depends on which one you'd like to. This next item I have heard so many people talking about and it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. The first person I heard talk about this was Lisa Lisa D1 and I picked it up. It's from Charlotte Tilbury in the color three. This is what it looks like. I don't know why I'm showing you the box. It comes in like a doe foot applicator. I haven't really mastered this yet. If you have any tips or tricks about this, I'd love to hear about it. I just have found everything I've been using has worked really well, so I haven't found a need for it yet, but I'd love to give it a good shot. And for those of you that have tried it, tell me what you think of it down below because I don't know what I think of it yet. On the order I placed at the end of summer, I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup in the color 3N1 Ivory Beige. It has not even come out of the package because at that same time is when I got the Lime Life Foundation and I haven't used anything else. This is going back. That summer one, I picked this up. It is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the, the Kilowatt one is called Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I had heard Courtney Kerr from currently.com, I think it's called, um, using this as an eyeshadow and it's gorgeous. I've used it quite a few times and I really do like it. Uh, the one side is definitely much more glittery than the other side. And this is a highlighter duo for a darker skin tone, but it works gorgeous as an eyeshadow for me. Talking about eyeshadows, I had heard quite a few people talking about this as well. It is the Natasha Denona and it is the Camel Palette. And this thing is gorgeous, guys. This has been like one of my, two, this and my Lime Life Palette have been my two go-to eyeshadow palettes. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's so easy to work with. It's just a great basics eye. You can do a nice 
lid with it but a nice crease color a nice brow bone color it's just an all-in-one great palette now this next item you guys have seen in my regrets and i like it but i'm not in love with it and it is from nars and it is called the atomic blonde palette and it is an eye and face palette it's got a beautiful front to it very pretty I mean, it's gorgeous, it's nice, but it's not like the only thing that I can use. I love the highlighter, I really like the bronzer. I tried kind of using it only for an eye look. It was fine, but I just wasn't like, oh my gosh, you guys should run out and get this. This next item I'm obsessed with, and you will see it in my next Get Ready With Me video coming up next week. It is the Tatcha, it's called the Pearl, the Under Light and Eye Treatment. I got this in the color Moonlight, and this is what it looks like. It looks like a little egg, and you need the tiniest bit of this, guys, but it's amazing. Have you guys tried this? Like, I am loving it. Now, I still need concealer and things like that, but this stuff is just wow. Some HG items that I love and I needed backups of or another one of. The first one is the Sephora Color Switch. Have you guys seen this? It is so cool. It's basically like this little kind of spongy thing that I keep open actually in my vanity and I keep it like this so it's open and you just wipe your brushes on it in between either colors or when you're done and it cleans off any extra product and all you have to do to clean it is wash it with soap and water. It is amazing. I bought another one so that I can have one at my other house too. Talking about cleansers, I've said this a hundred times over, my all time favorite, favorite brush cleaner. Use it on brushes, beauty blenders, anything. It is the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid Pro. It's not the regular one. This one is different. It has charcoal in it. Oh, it's sealed shut. It has charcoal in it. It does come with a thing to clean the brushes. This stuff is holy grail, guys. I haven't used another cleanser since I found this. Talking about holy grail products, I am obsessed with this stuff, guys. You guys know I love Monet and I love their dry shampoo, but ever since I picked this back up, I haven't been using my dry shampoo from Monet. It is Caviar Anti-Aging. It's by Alterna, and it is the Sheer Dry Shampoo Powder Spray. This is what it looks like, and it actually, you just, let's see. It's, so you just take it, and you pump a little bit, and then you work it in. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so nice. It is so volumizing. Whoop, got a little bit too much there. You gotta hold it at the right angle, which obviously when I'm doing this, it gives you nice volume. It sucks up any oils. This stuff, guys, I am just obsessed with it. I love it so much. I don't know why I stopped using that, to be honest with you. Um, another favorite that is a repurchase is the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in the color Primrose. This is a holy grail, guys. I have purchased multiples of them. This is another backup. My one I have now is almost at its end, but I will be honest, since I've been doing this lip, I have not been using lip liner. One of the reasons I probably am not using lip liner as often is this great item. My mother-in-law told me about this, and it is by Al Genis. It is the Genus Genius Lip Collagen Liquid Collagen Lip Biotechnology from San Francisco. This is what it looks like. I've used this much already. It doesn't take much and I'm not gonna turn it up and show you. You simply turn it and the product comes out of this applicator and I put it on my lips. I will use this in my Get Ready With Me as well because I use it pretty much all the time. Not every day because I don't wanna waste it. I use it more when I'm doing something or I know I'm doing a certain lip color or something. So I do love this stuff, but I don't use it every day just because I figure it's good for special things. But if you wanna use it every day, you can totally do that too. The next thing I picked up is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I picked this up in the color Caramel, and I actually picked this up before I started doing my brows a totally different way, and I'll show that. Boy, I have a lot of things I'm going to be showing you in this next Get Ready With Me. How I have my brows today is a different way than how I've done my brows for a really long while, and I just don't think that I'm going to grab for this, so I think this is going to go back, along with that Estee Lauder. The next thing I picked up, I needed a new pair of tweezers when it's 20% off, why not? I love the Tweezerman Slant Tweezers. These are my favorite, these are the ones I use all the time. I have a set in my vanity, but I also like to keep a set with my um, strip eyelashes, so I lost a pair, figured it was good to get an extra. 
The last couple items are new to me. And the first one is the Kapari and it is the coconut oil deodorant. Is it a certain scent? I think it's just coconut oil. I have, it smells so good. I have been using this uh, for only three days now. So far I'm liking it, no issues. I've heard there's a detox process when you start using an all natural deodorant. I haven't noticed it yet, thank goodness. But so far I'm really liking it. I've heard that that native brand is another really good brand. I actually, the thing I love about this is how smooth it is. It goes on so smooth and so nice. Um, I believe they have other scents in this. Have you guys tried this and what do you think? And if you've tried it and tried the native, which of the two do you guys think are better? Because I'm trying to go all natural with my deodorant, but we'll see how this works out. But if there are other scents that you like, let me know. I'm not a lavender person, by the way. If you see one that has lavender in it or you love one that has lavender in it, I'm probably not gonna like that. It's just not a scent that I love. Next thing I picked up, Lisa Lisa D1 was talking about this. And actually it's funny because Right after she talked about it, I was talking to Miss Crystal M about a lip look that she had on, and now I have to order a, uh, a lipstick that she was talking about. Charlotte Tilbury has a lipstick in Pillow Talk, and she said it's amazing. It's a matte one, but she said it's more like a satin, so I'm gonna pick that up. But she said she was loving it with this lip liner, and I was like, oh, Lisa Lisa D1 was talking about that, and I just picked it up. And it is the Lancome lip liner in the color ideal 254 i have not tried it yet i am excited to try it and i've just heard great things about this color lisa was also talking about this and it is the huda beauty and it is the lip strobe what color is it let's see here it is in the color angelic again i have not yet tried it it's cute packaging Woo! i have not yet tried this lip gloss i have been obsessed with a lime life one i've been using let's put a little on just see how it goes you know what it reminds me of? The Estee Lauder ones. It's really smooth. It feels really nice. I couldn't tell you the last time, with the exception of Lime Life, that I bought a lip gloss. Like, I only stick with the ones that I've had, and I don't change them very often. So I'm definitely excited to play with that some more. I don't know why I put it back in the box. The last item is an item that Kristen Game told me I needed to give a try. It is Wander Beauty, and it is their Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I have not yet opened this. I have heard it is amazing. It comes in kind of what I would consider to be like a lipstick tube. And I don't want to open it yet because I don't want to get air in it because I've got like four mascaras open that I'm trying to use up. But I'm definitely excited to give this a try and see how I like it. So that is all the items that I picked up from Sephora. I do have other items that I need to do a haul video on that are just miscellaneous places. But I knew that this one, a lot of people would want the information on if they were looking to purchase things during the sale. I will link all of the items down below in the order that you saw them. And if you like this style of video, I would love if you go give me a thumbs up down below. And as always, guys, if you have any questions on anything you saw here, whether I've tried it or not, drop a message down below. If you have tried any of these products and you know a tip or trick or something you love about it, I'd love to hear that as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.